Okay, so 7.1 inventor stuff. Yesterday we went over the, the more dimensioning, looking at this PowerPoint, answering these questions. And each one today uh, for these, I'm looking at this video links button, saying what, what this video is going to be covering. So datum and aligned dimensioning, chained and unidirectional. So for example, that's what we're going to be creating, this full set of sheets. So we're going to be looking at this. This first one here says datum dimensioning and aligned. And then chain dimensioning with unidirectional dimensioning. And tomorrow and the day after, we'll take care of the rest of these. So probably would just be two or three a day. Well, today we're just going to start with the two. All right. So what you need to do is access your V drive through your Citrix workspace or free at school, whatever, just the V drive. Find my name, period one. And then you're going to see unit seven resources. And this is what's called a compressed zip file. So if I double click on this, this is not going to allow me to open up any of the files on it. You need to create your own. So it's super easy to do. All you have to do is copy this 7.1 compressed zip file, see in the type here, and go to your student folder. So I got mine here. And I'm just going to right click, paste it. And I need to extract it. So right now it is there. It's shrunk down with the bits and size. So I need to right click extract all. Let's go ahead and just hit extract. It'll automatically do it in that same spot. All right. Give me some feedback here. You guys are good on seeing my screen, right? Can you hear me? Thank you. Yeah, we can hear you and see. You. Thanks. Okay. So now extract to the 7.1 student resources folder. I don't know why it's so many folders in the folder, but here they all are. So these are all completed. If we change the view, you'll see all of them are done. So we're just going to use this title block. So I'm going to start a fresh one. So within your folder, double click on this. I'm going to save it, give it a new name. So I'm going to call this Save As. Did it automatically go to my, it did automatically go there. Great. So I'm just going to call this 7.1 sheet. OK, so our first one that's on here, we're going to place a base. And we're going to have to find that path again. Oh, mine just happened to go to it. You might have to choose the path and follow all those clicks again, but mine actually made it there. So I'm going to place in number one. And these are going to be set up to where the front view is the correct front view. But this is way too large from one to one. It's not going to fit inside there. So I'm going to do half scale. And my top right side, and just for reference, I put in isometric. I hit OK. I remember if you do mess any of this up, you can always delete it. Or if you need to get that view, you can project just this one view to get it up there. OK, so this view up here, just kind of have it. We're going to make that one color. Yep, shaded. OK, the rest of these are just going to remain normal because we don't put color or anything on multi views. And we can adjust the spacing of this later on. Before I start doing any of this, I'm going to take care of just some of the small work. I'm going to do, if this is all collapsed, you can expand it with the plus sign, and then expand this ID title block, and then field text. Double click on that. So here you can put in, in all caps, your name, and project title, and you can just put in 7.1. It would be just fine. Okay, so our first one, it is saying we're choosing datum dimensioning and aligned dimensioning. So datum, oops, wrong button, is where we are going to have all the dimensions coming from one point, and we are going to make the dimensions aligned. 
is still aligned, so meaning they're going to switch direction. That's just a simple click after we already placed them. And datum dimensioning, that's chain. There you go, datum, smallest to largest. All right, so if you can follow along at this point, go ahead. If not, no big deal. I'm going to post this as soon as I'm done talking about these first two. So we have annotate and then place a dimension. Remember, we always talked about overall heights, widths, and depths. So I'm going to put my overall width. And these are our 16 rules or guidelines that we're putting in as well. So we're going to put these dimensions on the view that shows the best profile. Hit OK. I'm just going to do my other widths here while I'm at it. Select that one. All right, and then I'm gonna take care of all of my widths. There is actually one more. We need to show the location of where this one is at. So I know we're usually trying to keep these together, but we do not dimension hidden lines, remember? So we're never ever gonna do this. Instead, we will be dimensioning it around this point here. So sometimes you can't keep them all together. When we can, we can. Um, so here are all of my widths, I believe. Okay, so now let's look at our heights. And this one, I'm gonna put my heights in my front view again, because it shows the better profile. So the height there and a height here. And those are my only two. Nope, I lied, there's one more, it's actually on this side here. So let's talk about that. So we have this little height. So this can go either way. They tell us to put the dimensions in between adjacent to the views whenever possible. This one, if you decide to put it in the middle, then the dimension goes on top, you can switch that. So there's always choices. Again, if you did that either way, it's not like I'm counted wrong, but it just kind of depends on what you want to do. But let's see, so I got my little height of that and I'm not putting in the front view because I can't dimension a hidden line. So now let's talk about our overall depths. So I'm gonna put an overall depth here. Oh, I don't have the gap here, I messed this up. Make sure I select this corner to this corner. There we go, now I have that gap. All right, now overall depth. So I got my height, width, and now my depth here. It's gonna go up. I'm gonna put that up a little bit higher because I need to put a datum dimension for these parts as well too. So since we're doing datum, going smallest, we'll move that over in a second, make it cleaner, to largest. So my next one, so to unclutter this, if yours decides to do that, I'm just gonna grab that 0.5 and bring it down there. And this one I'm gonna move on the inside. So that's just a matter of just selecting the number, clicking on it where it's red, and just dragging it left to right. So now we have datum dimension for those. And then we actually have these parts down here that need to be dimensioned as well. But we're not gonna put them down here because it's just gonna be weird over here at the bottom right. So we do have the better profile up on the top, but we do not need to include another overall depth. We already have it on the right side view. So we just need to do datum dimension from here, that one inch. And then we're gonna go to the next one, smallest to largest. So one and 1.5. And I think I have all of them. So I'm gonna think, test yourself for the information I gave you. Can you recreate this? And I'm pretty sure we can, I think I got it earlier. All right, now something pops up, I'll fix it. So anyways, so that is our datum dimension going smallest to largest. The next part of this was making them aligned. So that is a simple one. So, oop, why did that pop up? Okay, if I select all my ones that are supposed to be turned, oops, I gotta get out of the dimension tool. So hit escape, get out of the dimension tool. So I need to be able to select more than one. So if I hold control on my keyboard, if I don't hold control, this clicks and then moves on to the other one. So I got to hold control, click, click, click. So any of these that can be turned. So it looks like it's just these five. Once I select all of them, I can right click 
and new dimension style. And I'm going to go to text. And then here in orientation, see so I have horizontal inline, and then I have aligned inline horizontal, and I think this one vertical inline horizontal. Which one do I want? Mm, I think it's this first one, and that one. See what happens here. Nope, it wasn't that one. Okay. All right, give me a second here. Now, why it should be edit? Just uh, how come if I select more than one, it won't let me do edits? Hmm. I just did this yesterday too. All right, give me a second here. Text. If it's this third option. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. All right, let me undo that real quick. And why aren't they in the line? Oh my God. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. Hold on. Just got to remember which one it is. I'm so many options here. I have the first one. I didn't do the second one yet. There we go. Second option. All right, everyone. Got it. So I'm going to hold control, I'm selecting all these ones that can be turned, such as these five. Right click, new dimension style. And then up in the text, I'll be going to here in linear. If I hover, this one is going to say in vertical dimension, select a little arrow, and I'm choosing the middle one. Inline vertical. That should change all of them. There we go. All right. So some of these, this one, like this one, we can probably move that down, clean it up a little. The rest of the numbers are staying on the inside. So now we have our inline datum dimensions. Okay. So that's our first one. Make sure I save. And then I'm going to do the second one here too. So you're going to get this one. Do you want to save changes to everything? Let's go ahead and hit OK. Yes to all. If you're getting in late, you're just going to have to wait till I'm done here. All right. So there's our first one. And we're going to make all of these in one, just like we did the Automo Blocks car. So I'm going to do another new sheet. And I just go ahead and put in my name and everything here. And then I got 7.1. Yep. Here's my second sheet. So according to OneNote. I'm going to have a chain and unidirectional. And we're looking at number two. So I place my base and then choose this one, number two. So my, this one's also going to be half scale because one's just going to be one to one's way too big. So half scale, front, top, right side, my isometric. I fit them in here to look nice. I think on this one, I don't think I'm even going to need a right side view. What do I do with my answer key? Well, I put it there. We don't really even need it. All right. Anyways, so this one is chain and directional, right? Unidirectional. Yeah. Okay. So let's start talking about placing dimensions. We got our overall heights, widths, and depths. So in this one, might be a little tricky. So first, let's take care of all of our overall widths. So I'm going to put this one in here. And we are chaining these together. So I'm going to make sure I go from corner to corner. And then I'm going to choose this line as well. It's going to want to snap in with that. So make sure you put in line. You don't want them staggered. It just looks dumb. So make sure these are snapped together. And I do not want to include that last one. Remember, if I snapped it in here, this is going to be called overdimensioning. If I do this last one, overdimensioning, which I absolutely do not want. It gives too much information. And you can see this starts to become a mess. There's too much there. So that's a chain dimension for those. And let's see. Let's do our heights. So overall height, 2.5. 
And there's only be a couple chains on this one, because this one we don't need the chain, because we know we have another part there. And then we have an overall depth. Oops, set the line. And now there is one more part down here. I know the rule is to put your dimensions on in between adjacent into the views. Again, those are just guidelines. Sometimes we can't do it every time because here I'm going to have to dimension that, that one and then chain it with this gap. So that's just kind of my only option here. All right, because I can't do it up on the top because there are hidden lines there. So this is really my kind of my only choice here. So this one's pretty simple. Let's get this one off into the border itself. Get some color on that. All right, so this one's staying exactly like that chaining, and all of these are going to be the same direction. Make sure you save. Hit OK. And real quick, if for some reason you did miss the put your name and the project title in here, if you expand the plus sign in whatever sheet you're working on, expand ID title block and double click field text. And then you can add in your name and your project title and everything, just in case you missed that. Same with one back up here. You have to activate it first. You got to double click into it, and then you can double click and change it. All right, so I'm going to end the recording, post this to YouTube.